Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. This is Imperator Elite. Today I'm going to do a uh, quick little video on the Zoology Milestone in No Man's Sky. Most players have a pretty difficult time completing this one because the, the game itself tends to be a little iffy on finding the creatures. Sometimes they disappear, sometimes they don't spawn in. Sometimes you have to find 12 on a planet and it's just near impossible to find them all. So, at, well at the very least it's extremely frustrating. So this video, I'm going to hopefully help you guys find a better method. Something that might be a little bit faster and easier. Alright, so first things first, we're in orbit around a sporal planet. Um, these are one of the anomaly planets. And that would be like fractured glass, um, planets, colon planets, uh, planet of light, fissured planets, so on and so on. Any of those really, really weird planets that you might see. And um, you want to focus on them. I usually find the uh, star systems that say like data unavailable. They're essentially uncharted. I find that they have more uh, variety and more options for them. So let's go down to the surface and check things out here and uh, see if we can find an anomaly creature because these planets only have one creature to discover. And that's what makes this so much easier than trying to find 10 or 12 or even 6 creatures sometimes can be a challenge. So, so a sporal planet. I don't know if I've... Oh wow. Oh wow. Okay. I've been on some similar planets to this but man, not with that nice contrasting grass. That's kind of nice. Yeah, let's park it right here. Good little spot. Why not, right? Alright, so land on the surface, get out of your ship. Um, you'll just need your visor out and um, just start searching. Oh, yep, yeah, see? Okay, see those little blue lights flying around there like fireflies? That's one of the anomaly creatures, for example. Now let's go into milestones. So, let's see, Planet Zoology, I'm at zero, um, because I discovered that you have to do it a certain way. Okay, selected on the planet there, now off to the right, it will say zero of one to species discovered. I am in creative mode, I am goofing around with things, so that's why you see a bunch of uh, currency. Let's see. Yep, alright, scan discovered, bottom right, found one of one. Alright, so now we'll go back to um, discoveries. Go back to, yep, we're on the planet. Now, the key here is, yes, it says one of one, but that paw print right there that I'm circling around, that is the big key item right there. You have to select that, or essentially use that to upload the discovery. And when you do that, it'll turn yellow and you will get credit then for the milestone. Um, I did not know this personally, so when I did it a few times I was like, why am I not getting credit? Do they change this? Is it no longer a thing where you can do one creature? But, well, it turns out that it's still there, you just have to use the paw print. And, okay, nanite clusters, yep, and there we go. Journey milestone accomplished. So, again guys, I am in creative mode. I use, um, creative mode for a lot of video editing and other things, but I play my original save files 100% legit except for backing up saves and restoring things like that. So, alright, um, well, that's it. That's really how simple it is. Just go to Anomaly Planet, scan one creature, upload your discovery, use that paw print icon, and then it's all good to go. So, hopefully that will save you guys some time and some frustration. <laughs> and make uh, the task seem a little bit less tedious and and uh, take some of the uh, frustration out of it and make it a little bit more fun. Alright guys, well, thank you for joining me. Thank you for watching the video. Hit a like, um, hit the like down there, leave comments, subscribe. Let me know if you want to see anything else. I really appreciate you taking the time to watch this. So, thank you very much and you guys have a wonderful day.